And, and I usually start with a kangaroo, maybe more of a softer one, kangaroo, instead of just the rawhide. It's a little softer on, on, their, on their nose and their pressure points and the side on their, there. And uh, I'll just get on them and I'll just start kind of mauling them around in it. Yeah. And a lot of times when you first put a hackamore on them, you'll pull on that right rein. Well, it's putting pressure on the opposite side, so they're used to the snaffle. So you pull the right and they're wanting to go to the left. So I'll just sit there and keep bumping them around, walk lots of circles back and forth. And I just finally get them to where I don't do a lot of, uh, I won't do any kind of cow work or any, you know, anything fast as far as running, stopping, turning around. I'm just mainly trying to get them to follow that nose and bumping them around. Uh, like this mare here, you know, she, she sh was shown in a hackamore a lot as her four year old year. This, she's a five year old now, but I mean, at first when you put that hackamore on them and just walking around here and you can tell I'm not really using any rain here. Uh, I'm just have it draped right there and I'm just making her come use off this two rain the bolsel here because and uh, and then I'll just do lots of banging them back this way left and right left and right here uh, make them go around and around and just and, and you'll be surprised they'll they'll hang there you know like you'll I'll be pulling the left rein and all of a sudden they'll, they'll want to go to the right and I just sit there and keep not riding the hackamore I, I definitely want to keep my hands a little wider uh, but then when I go to start the ideal thing is, is in a regular hackamore, and I know I've heard this from Benny Catron, and I even heard Corey Cushion say it down there at Snaffle Bit Fury this year. He was talking to somebody about it. That the ideal, when, once you have a finished, or a horse is ready to go into the bridle, you should be able to just ride them one-handed in that hackamore. And they should just, you know, go wherever you want to one-handed, almost like you're in a bridle. But when we start them, I like to keep my hands a little wider. Uh, for me, you know, the wider you can put your hands, the, the bigger, you know, I've always heard everybody say, oh, do not, don't ever lock onto a hackamore. And Don Murphy told me one time when I was riding with him and he was trying to show me how to get in a hackamore. Was, anytime I use my hands, I want to try to use my feet at the same time. Uh, like just driving her forward right here. I, I'm not really pressing real hard with my feet, but I've got both feet in her and just driving her around here, driving her around here. And then I'm going to release my feet and then release my hands. And eventually I want them to have them to where if I just put my feet in them, that doesn't mean really speed up. Uh, the, I want them to, to relate that, that foot to, hey, maybe round up, not speed up. Uh, maybe a voice, to me, a voice command. And a lot of times too, when I start this two rein, you know, I, I, I told you I always want to keep my palms down in the hackamore. Well, here, I might go ahead and put my thumbs up a little bit like you're going to be having roll mount reins and get in here a little closer and just keep my hands a little closer. And I just want her to re respect this little two rein here and uh, give, give it, give and everything. And it's kind of, and I'm not, I'm not afraid also like if, because we, we went from a hackamore that's a lot bigger di in diameter to this a little bitty, a little bitty bolsel now. And it doesn't have near as much bite or pull on them or whatnot. So a lot of times if I have a horse that, you know, he was, he was good in a hackamore, but I hadn't rode him in it in a while, you know, and now I'm going to try to put him in this bridle. If he's pulling on this thing a little bit, I'm not afraid to go.